Every time I ask my mom about my dad, she would say that he's abroad. And that was it. She never really went into an explanation. Up until about five years ago, I strongly believed that I was unlovable. At the age of 16 years old, I met a guy who I believed would protect me. He was in a gang. He was what we would call a bad boy. I felt a sense of security and I started trusting him. However, that violence turned on me. And that was the first time I would have experienced physical abuse. Mr. Mika Maglachi. You know, it's one in every three are affected by domestic violence. And well, sexual abuse that took place every day. I didn't have a say when I came to that. It was whatever he wanted, whatever he wanted it. If my father had stayed up to this age that I am right now, if he had stayed and the abuse had continued, I believe that I would not be sitting here today talking to you. I might have been behind the bars because I was really planning to, to go and do my father something just to stop the abuse of my mother. Abuse is a cycle. So if you don't make a choice to leave, then know that you are growing sons who will be abusers. I feared most of all that my older son would be a perpetrator. It was one of the hardest things to look at my son and think that he was going to turn out to be the thing I didn't want him to be most of all, the thing I tried to save him from. I decided that I had to get out of the relationship, if not for myself, for my kids. If you are a victim and you're sitting here, I want you to know that you're not alone. I want you to know that you have support. I want you to know that there is a way out. <laughs> Hi. Hello. This is this is um this is Kamika. Who the hell is Kamika? Well, I am your daughter from Trinidad, and I just really wanted to call you and wish you Happy Father's Day. I don't know you. I don't know who you're talking about. Please. Um, Tell me things that I don't know. 